Palau President Tommy Mungsao Jr. has signed the bill proposing to increase the minimum wage. At the end of his first State of the Republic address, President Mungsao signed the bill into law. So starting on April, sorry, starting on October 1st this year, the minimum wage will increase from its current rate of $2.50 per hour to $3.50 per hour. An additional 25 cent increase will be added each year on October 1st until it reaches $3.50. The new minimum wage would apply to all employees except those employed as farmers by a single employer, domestic helpers, caretakers, babysitters or houseboys, as well as student employees and non-governmental organization employees. According to statistics, OTV acquired from the Department of Labor, nearly 5,000 foreign workers will fall under the minimum wage law. Of 5,429 registered workers, only 570 are listed as farmers, domestic helpers, and houseboys. The new law also states that an employer paying the minimum wage would not be required to pay for employees' travel, food, housing, or other living expenses. In addition to the minimum wage, President Mungsao also signed the Mandatory Retirement Bill, which eliminates the mandatory retirement of 30-year service for pension benefits. So beginning on December 31st, 2013, employees will only be entitled to their pension benefits upon reaching the age of 60. Minimum wage, long overdue, despite Rahman Lemring debate back and forth, the after 16 years, the people rightfully should have their minimum wage increased.